All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem 15 to the power of 50 over three to the power of 25. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by rewriting this as 15 to the power of 25 plus 25. So we wrote 50 as 25 plus 25 over three to the power of 25. And the reason I did this is because now I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 15 to the power of 25 plus 25 is going to equal 15 to the power of 25 times 15 to the power of 25. And I have this over 3 to the power of 25. And now this is equal to 15 to the power of 25 times 15 to the power of 25 over 3 to the power of 25 which is equal to 15 to the power of 25 times 15 over three to the power of 25. And this is equal to 15 to the power of 25 times five to the power of 25. Now another property of exponents is that if I have something from a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So this is gonna equal 15 times five to the power of 25 which is equal to 75 to the power of 25. So this is my answer. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem nine over four to the power of nine over four. So to solve this, I'm gonna first rewrite this as three squared over two squared to the power of nine over four. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 3 squared over 2 squared is going to equal 3 over 2 squared, and I still have this to the power of 9 over 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So it's going to equal 3 over 2 to the power of 2 times 9 over 4, which is equal to 3 over 2 to the power of 18 over 4, which is equal to 9 over 2. So I have 3 over 2 to the power of 9 over 2. Now, 9 over 2 is the same thing as 4 plus 5 over 2. And this is equal to 4 over 2 plus 5 over 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So this is going to equal 3 over 2 to the power of 4 over 2 times 3 over 2 to the power of 5 over 2. Now 4 over 2 is equal to 2, so I get 3 over 2 to the power of 2 times 3 over 2 to the power of 5 over 2. And 3 over 2 squared is equal to 9 over 4, so I get 9 over 4 times 3 over 2 to the power of 5 over 2, which is the same thing as the square root of 3 over 2 to the power of 5. And now this is equal to 9 over 4 times the square root of 3 to the power of five over the square root of two to the power of five. Now the square root of three to the power of five is equal to nine root three. And you can get this by simply multiplying the square root of three five times. Now, and the square root of two to the power of five is equal to four root two. So I have 9 over 4 times 9 root 3 over 4 root 2, which is equal to 81 root 3 over 16 root 2. And we don't want any radicals in our denominator, so I'm going to multiply this by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. So I get 81 root 6 over 16 times 2, which is 32. So this is my answer.